hi, this is uh, this is this is Prison Architect, and what we'll be doing in this episode of of Prison Architect is architecting the the building down here. This is a building, and we made this, which is all good. It's very nice, and we'll be putting stuff in the building to make sure that the prisoners come, and there'll be lots of stuff and things and and junk in it. And we we've got a shakedown underway. Look, shakedown's underway in in Prison Architect, and this is episode uh, thirty four of the, uh, the the new alpha, uh, you know, the new one that's just come out. See, this is why I do the intro, you see. So when I read a comment on the previous episode's comment section saying, oh, you should probably ditch that silly intro we're telling us what episode it is, what we've just done, and what we're going to do, I think, no, that's probably not the best thing to do because I think this is much better. Generic greetings and welcome to Construction plus Prison Architect plus Alpha 20 episode 9. In the previous episode, we polished things off around this part of the prison here. This whole top section expanded the land down, planned off and built this foundation which will be our lovely mall. In this episode we will complete said mall. I think that's just a little bit better than Right, so a prison architect again, and we're going to build the stuff and things and the junk. Don't know what you think, but, you know, that's just my way of doing it. So, as you can see, we have got a lovely shakedown underway. We have found, in order, three forks, 43 spoons, five boozers, one bottle of poison, one hacksaw, Two mobile phones, one lighter, two screwdrivers. I believe that's just the normal type, not the positive screwdriver, not the posi. We have also got a unit of drugs, probably from Ryan's set, Ryan's stash somewhere. Two hammers and three drills. I don't know how they're going to use the end drills, however, because we don't have electricity unless they plug it into the light or whatever. But there you go. We've uh, searched almost 543 places. Our danger level's going up. Our money is five oh, 53,678 generic credits we actually receive. 12,880 per day. Generic credits or just generic currency units, whichever you prefer. As I said in the last episode, we expanded this down. This uh, this part here, we can't really do anything with. I did plan on having sh sort of plan on having chalets and such. It's just not really possible because of the way it is, and I don't really want to expand further. So. What I'm going to do is just go to our objects and then to trees and then just, just basically scatter them about, right? And this is going to be like a... I don't want them like ordered really, so I'm going to have to just make sure I dot them in a random area. Although humans are terrible at making things random. Honestly, humans are like the worst sort of beings to just make random noise. Because we tend to want to make it too uniform. So I think that is... Something what we're gonna go with something like that. There we go. So that's the that's the wilderness area sorted So we won't have that accessible by anyone else other than the Workmen and the gardeners as you can see they can get from the bottom here But I can't put a wall across because otherwise I would have them chalets and such for some reason spoons are really popular Nobody wants forks, but I guess that makes sense because it is after all a mini shovel It is a food shovel really isn't it spoon? That's just what it is right a food shovel and that you know obviously they're gonna use that to dig out as well Although it will take a lot longer. Oh look at all these people on the weight bench. They're using the muscle <laughs> the, These are all using the muscle beach gym, which is Quite successful, I think, as a is just as a place. They do tend to go there and use it. They also seem to use this area here, as you can see. They're coming in, playing pool. There's more. Is that moss? That's moss. Is it Morris moss? Let's have a quick look. Can't click on him. No, it's Felix moss. Oh, I wish it was Morris moss. <laughs> We're going to die, Roy. Right. Okay. So let us get on with this area here. This is our mall, which we created in the previous video. I want to finish it all off this episode. The plan is to have. Hopefully a common room all the way around and I'll have to check it But we might have a yard in the center, but I don't think a yard can be inside it has to be No, it can be inside it can be inside so we're gonna have a yard in the center and that'll be our well, Just like a I don't know just a, a common area and then we'll have this as common room I don't know why I could just have it as all as common room. I'll, I'll make that decision later current me doesn't really care So let's just measure this off so it's at least 10 from the door like that and we'll cut that there. Like I say, we're just going to measure it so it's 10 from the door. So that. And then we'll have the wall. There we go. So that should be, ideally, oh, it'll be 18. Uh, nope, it's 19. So I've obviously messed up somewhere. Hang on. So that's 10 from the door and 10 from the door. Hang on. 10 and 10. No, that is right because we're not classing the one in the center. So it won't be 20. That's perfect. Okay. So what is the gap all the way around? There's a gap of 10. No way. Perfect. So we're going to measure off a gap of 10 on this side, which will be that. So we'll cut that down, and then that'll be our outside area. So we'll just probably chop that right down the middle. 
There we go. And then we'll have this chopped up into different sections, different rooms. That's 30. So ideally we want it nine and then a nine and then a row. So nine, then a row, and then nine. That's ten. So that'll be right there. And then nine. And then that there, which is a slight, a slight problem because it's going to cause that, as you can see, this different sort of size building there. But that's okay because I could probably, if I want to, just make this uh, probably a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. Depends what I'm going to do with these buildings. I could do that. And then do the same. Let me just do the same down the bottom and then I'll roughly know what I'm going to do. In the previous episodes, com uh, previous episodes video I asked what do you want in these buildings and I told you to put it in the comment section and I have a nice sack of comments here there you go actually that's just me flipping uh, just some post-it notes because there's nothing written on them but uh, you know I've got I've got a mental note of what people have requested so I'll do my best to sort that out I don't like that I'm not I don't like the size of that maybe it would be best to split it down the middle so that maybe as a building so that's one big room and that's another big room I think that might be better yes because these are bigger shops and such which means that I'll have no I do like that like that I like these at the fact that these are sort of uniform size so we'll have the entrances we'll have double entrances in each one and I've come up with a bit of a weird idea hang on which is, where is the center on that one that's four and that'll be four yeah so there is a center and four it's that one, two, three, four. That is the center, yeah. Hang on, is that four? Four, yeah, that's right, okay. I have an idea. Now, one thing that you always get in shops, and I'm talking about the UK, is all shops have security... That wall is not in the right place. No, it's in the right place. All shops have sort of security tags on all of the clothes or the items, and they always have little... I don't know what you would call them, little scanners when you walk through to basically bleep or sound an alarm if you've nicked something. So we're going to have metal detectors in this thing, okay? Because it's a logical extension of what's in the game. We not obviously don't have metal detectors anywhere else around this place, although, as people rightly said, we should really have a metal detector in this place here where you would, you know, you would always check out to see if they've got anything dodgy on them, which is what I'll do, actually. I'll put a metal detector in here just to uh, appease that request, and I think it's something that is... It's a logical request. You would have a, a metal detector coming through here like that, so you'd always go through that metal detector just to make sure... You don't have any metal objects sneaking them into these cells. Anyway, as you can see, we've got a lot of people in solitary there after that shakedown. But that's okay. We also don't have nowhere near enough people actually on this CCTV monitor, which is really starting to hack me off some at fierce. Let me just go to guard patrol. Someone is assigned, but they're just using the common room. Hmm. No, no, they're using the staff room, rather. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to put some redundancy in here. And I'm going to add CCTV monitors to this place like so. And what that'll do, that'll mean that we've got some redundancy. If one person goes for a, a, a smoke break or goes out for, to get a coffee, they'll always be able to watch the monitor. So I'll put all of these monitors in. Obviously, it's a bit expensive, but that's okay. I also have to be very, very careful of the power grid. Let's have a quick look. Yes, we're fine. That's also something that is going to be problematic down here because... I'm going to have to run the power. Now, I can, I'm going to have to run the power all the way down from here into there, which is not ideal, is it? So I could, I do have two options. I need to check the grid first. The grid's running a little bit hot as it is, so it might not be a great idea to power that with the same grid, although the, to be fair, there'll only really be lights, and actually no, there'll be lots of, uh, lots of uh, cookers and fridges and stuff, because some of the want as the store. What I might do then is actually have a section here where I probably section this off and have another... Let me cancel them install tree. So I'll cancel that. And we'll make it so they... Let's speed up to max speed first, even though max speed is actually quite slow because it's starting to lag because of the massive expansion. I might have a extra building here which will power just this. I think that will work. So let me just go to foundations and building. And we'll roughly work it out of, say, that size... If you want it that size, then it means that we need... Actually, no, we'll cancel that. Cancel that. Planning first. So if we have our object of... It'll be... Building. Building first. Building first. 
if we tack it onto the outside like that, that should suffice. No, it needs to be a lot bigger than that. It needs to be that. Because inside we'll have 3x3. Three three. That's where we'll have our... Yeah, I think that's about the right size. That's where we'll have our generator like that. And then we'll have the capacitors all the way around it if we need that. Okay, which means the wall needs to run like that. Okay, that's the wall. Okay, cool. We've worked that out. Excellent. So we need to rip up this tree that we've just planted, sadly. We'll demolish all of them. And then we also need to go to our materials and then demolish walls. Demolish the wall up to about there. There we go. And I say we'll tack the wall on going around there. Right, we'll just wait for them to go and do... We'll just wait for them to do that and I'll have a sip of beverage while we wait. Mmm. Today's beverage is gravy. <laughs> it's not gravy. It's Bovril. Bovril's just one step from gravy, I must confess, but you know, fine. Anyway, so in the previous episode, like I said, we did a lot of changes around the prison. This is something that has been pretty much universally accepted as a really, really good thing. Although I must confess, putting the garbage bags on the serving tables uh, is probably... I don't know if that's quite poignant in its in what it's trying to say here because this is after all a fast food restaurant and we've got garbage bags on top of the serving table. If this wasn't in a game that would really be classed as art although games are technically technically an art form and all that but yeah I, I think that that is quite a good thing there. We had garbage on the serving table. Now you see if that was in a gallery you would get a lot of people paying either a lot of money or reflecting about what that means. Well, it is a fast food restaurant and they're putting garbage, physical garbage, actual stinky horrible garbage on top of the on top of the serving table. Does that mean that they're trying to say that all of the food served is garbage or that people are willing to accept that the food that they're getting is garbage but they really don't care? Or does it mean that the people who work there are not very competent and they're trying to place garbage on what would be food or maybe they don't know the difference and neither do consumers and maybe we're all just morons and staring at garbage being placed on a serving table because the AI is a bit stupid. Whatever. Anyway, so that was a good design, apparently, the canteen that we got there, and it's something that we might follow on, especially this bit here with the big brick wall between it. I don't know why, it just seems to work. Although, I must confess, with the current problems with the AI pathfinding, we, uh, yeah, it's a bit, it, we get people trapped in the wall and such, but we can we can deal with that. Also, the, 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 the chefs seem to move from one place to the other, even though we've got about 20 of them. Yeah, or 38, and I'm guessing... Two, oh, what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Yeah, we got we got eighteen then. Is that right? Yeah, we got. Oh, we got twenty cooks. We have got twenty cooks, right? So that's fine. Anyway, so we got a bit of waiting to do. No, I think that's about right. That is about right. Who's that? Is that someone leaving? No, it's just someone patrolling. Right. So let us go over here, and we'll go to foundation, build foundation of that. There we go. And it does require an entrance, yes, right, very well done, I, I, I do realise that. We'll uh, also go to concrete wall, we're going to build a concrete wall all the way around like that, there we go. And then we will have our door in that bit there, because you wouldn't want to access it any other place, and for some reason it still requires an entrance. I'm sorry, I've, I'm sure I've just put that entrance in there. That That's the entrance there, mate. That See that job? That that, that job, job says install door, that, that is the entrance. I'll just wait for it to figure itself out, yeah. Uh, we could use this, by the way. We could use this power station. I know that's something you might, you're probably thinking, well, why are we not using that power station? Because we could use that power station to power this. Well, the reason for that is because that is solely powering this up the top. Hang on one moment. I'll wait for it. Auto save. Yeah, there was another comment. Why don't I change the auto save so it's every 30 minutes or an hour? That's because I've had several series being destroyed by an auto save. Uh, or the lack of an autosave, where I've done maybe an episode or two episodes, and then the whole thing, like, break. So I would rather have it autosave in the middle of playing, and have a backup, and then we can deal with it when it fails. Because it will fail eventually, trust me. You do this long enough, you'll have a save that fails. Uh, so I'd rather save it in that interval. Anyway, that power station powers this area here, this yard. And inside that yard is our nice fountain, which happens to be four electric chairs. So it's sort of a... Tongue-in-cheek joke that, that that's a bit, you know, the the mayor controls the switch that turns on the fountain, which happens to be electric chairs. So, yeah, definitely, we're going to keep that separate. This is what we'll have powering the mall. And it also makes a bit of sense because malls 
if you're talking about American malls, they're generally so bloody huge. Uh, <laughs> you need to have their own power supply anyway. That's the door being put in. So we'll wait until they put that door in and then that'll be that sorted. Obviously I can then dismantle the door straight away as soon as it's done. So one moment I'll wait until it's built there. We'll just order the dismantle, dismantling of that door. And then as soon as, soon as that's finished, I will put the door back in. There we go. Fantastic. So let us go to utilities and to power station. We'll put a power station in there and then we'll put our capacitors at the back like so. I don't think we'll need any more than that, but that should do us. Right, we'll just go to planning, remove our planning of the walls because we don't really need it. I'm pretty sure I've already ordered our wall to be put back in. Yes, I have. Job done. And let us get on with this area then. So we're going to put walls inside. I think we'll use... I think we'll use brick walls. I would like it to use concrete, but I just think that it would clash with the outside. God, that's a bit too hard, isn't it? It would clash with the outside wall that we've got here. Yes. So let us just get this sorted. I need to figure out where the middle of that is, so I'm going to leave it for now. So let's just put the walls in that I know are required. There we go. I wish you could click and drag over other walls like that, and it would reskin with that different coloured wall. So for example, I'm using brick wall. I wish you could reskin the concrete, like reskin the brick wall with concrete. Like just click on concrete wall and go, yeah, concrete. Oh, well, you can anyway. Shut up! <laughs> you can reskin it. Fine. Fine. Okay, I'll, gi I'll give the game that. I will give the game that. That's uh, quite smart of it. All right, then. Fair enough. Shut up. Right. I see. I've, this is like what? I've done over 180 episodes of this thing and uh, yeah, you find something new every day. Right, let's put an entrance in. I think that looks about the centre. That looks central to me, so five. And that'll be four, won't it? Yeah, so that's not central at all. Technically, it's central if the wall was there. So, central enough. Central enough. So, then we've got a brick wall. Put the brick wall in up to there and then obviously we'll have our entrance in there. We don't need doors separate. We're not going to have doors at all. And we're just going to have metal detectors in the entrance like so. Now this is why I've got my own power station because otherwise it might break the grid. How much money have I got? More than enough. That is fine. And we will put them in like so. In fact, I'm going to cancel them. Make sure they go on the right side. Which they're probably going to put them in on the wrong side anyway. What's that guy doing? Dancing around. I'll order him to move. Let me just put the grid in. So we'll use electrical cable. We'll run it down. I think this is the only time I've actually had four. I think the only time I've, actually, I've, I've ever had four, metal, uh, four power plants. I, think, I really think it is. I think it, I think it probably will be the only time I've had four power plants in a building. Huh, weird. Oh, four, uh, four power plants in one prison, I mean. Interesting. Right, anyway, as you can see, our CCTV capacity is up to 33 now. That's not technically correct. Um, actually, it is correct. It is correct. Yeah, we can have 33 CCTV cameras if we desire, but I'm not going to put them in. I think we'll put some in the mall, and ideally you would have another building that would be... CCTV just for the mall alone so we could have like a security station in the center but I'm not going to bother because it's a just it's just a bit too much of a hassle when in re obviously this is where this guy here that person technically would be guarding this and that this police station would technically be guarding the police station then you would have another probably uh, sort of town hall type thing that would have security for the remaining the remaining area and obviously mall would have their own little security desk but in reality in the game it's all just on one circuit it's just the amount of cctv monitors you have dictates how many cameras you can have etc but the reason we've got a lot more capacity than what we're using is because the monitors if that person for example goes out oh, i need to go for a, a, a wee we can still run the cameras that's the uh, that's the idea anyway right there you go so let's go back over here and we will check to make sure that this is complete. They are putting in the power. Or at least they should be putting in the power. It's all ordered, as you can see. All of this is going to be powered up. And then we can sort it out. Right. Let us go to our rooms. And then to the common room. If I can find it. Because I can never find the rooms. Common room. Okay. So we're going to designate all of these as common rooms. Can I click and drag? Will it separate them out? It is going to separate them out, which is good. Thank you very much. Thanks, game. Actually, we'll do that separately because we're going to have to do that and that. There we go. We'll do the same thing here, there, and there. That's all one room. And then we can designate the bottom ones 
there as well. Right, fantastic. So they're all common rooms and they're all past because they're indoors. That person is doing a bit of a dance. Nobody's doing this bit over here. Why is that? Probably because they're trapped somewhere. Thanks, mate. Let's have a look. Oh, they're running down with something. No, they're not. They're just not bothered. Right, do we have anyone patrolling the bridge? Let's have a quick look. Deployment and then guard patrols. We do have someone controlling, uh, patrolling the bridge, but it's not a full patrol. So let's expand the patrol like so. There you go. So now they're going to patrol the entire bridge. All the way down to the bottom. And technically, that's part of the bridge as well. That is not part of the bridge. I don't know. Is that part? Is that? That is, is that? Can you walk there? I don't know if you can walk there. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Anyway, we'll leave it. We'll forget about it. Right, so they are placing all of these electrical cables, although I must confess that doesn't look like they've finished it because that still hasn't been placed and these ones also need to be powered up. So we'll power these up as you would expect, like so. There's that sorted. And we'll wait for them to come along and place that. And I'm guessing, yeah, there's someone coming along to sort that out. Let's just have a quick look at our reports, because we haven't had a look at this for quite a while. So prisoners, we have 124 of them, which is good, because I just need to go over here, go to rooms, go to our holding cell, cancel off all of the holding cell there, and then redesignate it all as such. There we go. And obviously, people are going to be taken to their different cells and all of that. Obviously, we have a problem with these are only high risk, these things here. These are high risk. I wish you could set the risk to be different ones. So you could say only medium and high can be in this one, only low and medium can be in this one, etc. But sadly, it's only one or the other. It's, well, it's, it's, one, it's one of the three. So it's either low, medium, or high, or then gen pop, so everybody can go in. I really wish you could set it for, like, high um, high upwards or medium upwards or whatever. But, you know, alas, Alpha Games Alpha, they probably added it. They'll probably add it at some point. Right. So let's have a quick look at our reports that we're going to. 127 prisoners, max of 124. So, well, 124 is fine. Now, our jobs, there's loads of jobs, most of it to move things that we can't remove. We, our, well, look at them needs. Them needs are, yeah, they're getting taken care of. Mm. Them needs are definitely getting taken care of. As you can see, we've got a little bit of privacy requirement, a little bit of clothing requirement, which I'll have to keep an eye on because, obviously, we have expanded in every direction now, I guess. Uh, we've No, we, yeah, we've pretty much doubled the size of this, but this was here, and then we've expanded. Yeah, we've, we've pretty much added the same size again. Obviously, a lot of it's water, but we've added this again and we haven't actually expanded our laundry but it seems to be coping quite well we'll just have to keep an eye on it food and sleep are obviously always high because we only have one do we have one food time we have two eats two sets of eats on meal variety and quantity of high so that should be fine no real problem with that there so that's all that's all cool we have a good supply of tools which i don't i can't stop i can't actually stop the tool sort of nicking, the, I can't stop them nicking the tools and the reason for that is because I don't have any metal detectors around here, we just don't have any. Are they, are they making, they're cutting metal? Well, I've never seen that for a while. They're actually cutting metal. I'm guessing we're still waiting for these trees and such. It's because I sold loads of the other things as well. Ah well, let me put the press back there and we'll sort that out. I should really add a lot more presses and such in there. I, I I really wish they would add somewhere you can just say this is just a sawmill, this is a press area, whatever. But I think the next area I'm going to make, sort of workshop, I'll probably double the size and just have 20 of each and just say work on whatever the hell you want. <laughs> right, anyway, back to the reports. We'll have another quick look. So, contraband, uh, we've got a lot of supply of tools because I don't have any metal detectors or any way of stopping them getting the stuff out of the workshop. Also, if you look at my policy... After this auto save. By the way, I don't really slurp like that in real life. I'm not a complete... I wasn't dragged up. I actually have quite good table manners, I assure you. Uh, our policy is not to bother with them if they've got drugs. If, they, if, if we... Uh, sorry, tools and such. If they have, we have tools on them, we give them a lockdown. We go, no, bad, bad, you shouldn't have that. In fact, no, let's just change it to none. If you found one with tools, no problem. Weapons, you get solitary. Drugs, you get solitary. But uh, I think tools, yeah, well, no, basically the policy is you're fine with it. So we're not actively preventing them nicking it, and we're not retroactively... Is that the term? I don't know. Retro... 
I, I don't know. Basically, find if we find them with tools, we're not actually saying no. You shouldn't have done that. We're not. We're not. There's Ryan again. Do you see him running there? We're not actually saying no. You shouldn't have nicked that bad person. So we're not punishing them for nicking it anyway. So that's why there's so many. That's long story short. Why we have a lot of tool supply, TLDR and all that. Right. Grants. Yeah. We're never going to sort this out. Two of them are bugged, I believe. Oh, sorry. The nutrition research, I'm never going to really do. The country apprenticeship, I believe, just... It says produce however many... Pe ten superior beds. I've produced more than that a couple of times. I've actually had the grant complete on me a couple of times as well. And I've tried it single... Uh, I've tried it when I'm not recording, and it does do the same thing. So, I don't know what the deal with that is. We have a long-term investment, which also resets after every save. So, unless I just keep it running, we're never going to get that sorted. Our programs are pretty are pretty okay, actually. We're, we're doing alright there. We're not too bad at all. We have actually have five people past the carpentry apprenticeship. We have... Nobody interested, apparently. We have the... We have 48 past the kitchen health and safety. The workshop safety induction, 69% pass rate. So, you know, a lot more. It looks like the kitchen health and safety. Or safety and hygiene, rather. I call it health and safety. It's safety and hygiene in this. Same sort of thing. Same principle. That's uh, obviously easier to complete, apparently. We have our foundation education uh, program with a lot of people in it. 73 uh, finished with 40% uh, 40 passed, which is a 54% pass rate. Not bad. General education program. Not many people partaking in that, but we do have a 62% pass rate. It, which is quite good as well. We also have beth behavioral therapy, which apparently nobody's in the queue. So I don't know. Don't know why that is. But apparently it's it's there if they want to take it. Our finance is quite good. 49,332 generic currency units per day, which is okay. And our valuation is of just over three quarters of a million generics as well. There we go. Oh, there's our grand completion of... <laughs> Yeah, create the 10 superior beds. If I loaded this now, it would actually just reset. Let's have a quick look at our grading, which I think that grading should be in reports. 31% on reoffending rate, which isn't too bad. Punishment and reform should be higher. Security and health. Uh, security should be, well, both, they all should be higher, really. I don't think it's too bad. I think that is okay for a prison that is in a, is really very... Uh, it's probably the furthest away from a prison that you can really imagine. I mean, it's supposed to be a sort of a town, and I've taken a lot of liberties with this entire layout and design. Anyway, let's sort this out. Why have they just been visiting a empty common room area for the this? It's probably they're probably cleaning. Actually, now I think of it. Right. So let us sort this out. So every room here. This is a. You can see these are common rooms. Obviously, what we're going to do is we have the, we've designated them as common rooms just because. But in reality, uh, well, in reality, they are just common rooms, and nobody's going to really go there. But what they're representing is sort of shops, shop fronts. So it, we'll have shops in well, shops that sell different things. So there's already a couple of ones that we know for definite we're going to have, and I'll build them in a moment. Just realised, however, that our capacitors are not really doing the job. We need some more capacitors in there because I am going to be putting some things in here like kitchen items or fridges and freezers and such so we'll have to account for that once we uh, once we expand onto it. Anyway, so a couple of shops that we need. So let's just firstly go to objects and then we'll go to desk. So we'll have the tills in the same place. We'll have sort of the tills there. We'll have it sort of this is where you always buy your, or this is where you pay for your items, like such. We could have it right at the front, but I just like it where it is. So, spin them back around, because I didn't mean to do that. And then there's the two, the tills that are at the front. These ones are going to be very similar. Basically at the door, and you pay for them there, like so. So there's the tills, which are just, you know, office desks. They're just the serving area, really. So, a couple of things that I mentioned uh, in the previous episode that, you know, we should have... Pretty much people said, yeah, that's fine. So we, we need a television shop. So we need a store with lots of TVs. So we're going to have telev televisions right at the back. Right? That's the telly wall. You always have a big wall full of tellies. In fact, we're going to have the same thing down the bottom there. So there's the wall full of televisions. And what we're going to do is we're going to sort of stagger them where we'll have them like that. Okay? Different models, different makes, etc. In fact, I think we'll just run it down the bottom. I think that's probably the best thing. Just run them like that. And obviously this is quite expensive, but that's fine. I can handle it. And there we go. So that's our television store. The next one will be a phone store. So it's phones for you or a car phone warehouse or whatever your equivalent is 
in your country. Generic telecommunications ordering facility is what we're going to call it. So we'll have, again, phone wall. So we'll have a wall of phones on either side. This also serves as a way for the prisoners to actually, well, it's, it's actually a good place because they can use this. This is actually functional, right? They can come here and actually use the phones, which is something I've always tried to do in this, even though it is after all, representing a town, I've always tried to keep things functional, so even though, well, obviously things, so not th not everything's possible, so that's a junkyard. Even though it's a junkyard, it's actually our, it's actually our garbage area. It's supposed to be a classroom, uh, so that's our classroom, it's supposed to be like a town hall type thing. You get the idea, we've, I've always tried to make something that's A, functional, and B, represents something that you would actually get in a town. So anyway, these will be used, which is why they're common rooms, so lots of televisions, lots of phones, so they'll be used by the prisoners. Next couple of things are, I think, a fridge freezer, uh, a sort of fridge freezer store and uh, cooker store, so just generally white goods. Are they called white goods? Well, basically, we're going to put sort of freezers and cookers in the bottom one here, like so. And we'll also sell sinks. We're going to sell all of that sort of thing in this place. So it would be a sort of B&Q or whatever if it's in the UK. Or, you know, would it be a Radio Shack? I don't know. Don't really know. Anyway, if they even, do they even exist? I have no idea. <laughs> right, let's put that in there. So that's just generally sort of... White goods, you know, your fridge freezers, your, your your sinks, all that sort of thing. The kitchen, the kitchen shop, the generic kitchen shop. We do need a bed shop as well, place you know the where you place where you buy beds, and also another thing as well, which I'm going to do in a moment. So uh, this is where we have the beds, and we'll say, look, there's a double bed, there's another double bed, and the singles here. Look, you can have single beds as well, and we will put probably singles down the side like that, and up to there. But what else? Generally, for some reason, you tend to get, or you can get beds and carpets in the same building, like the bed and carpet warehouse and things like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to be a bit clever here, we're going to use our materials and we're going to pave the entire area. Now I think we need, I think everything needs to be the same. I think everything needs to be the same layout and I think probably using concrete would not be a good idea. White tiles might be a bit too, oh that might be alright, white tiles, I think wood. No, wood floor wouldn't work either. I think, perhaps, mosaic? Mosaic is probably a bit too dark for my liking. I think marble is probably going to be the best. Marble and the entire mall, I think. That's probably going to be the best thing. There we go. That's sorted. I'm actually going to cancel them. There. And the reason for that is I just thought that it's probably best to use... We'll have a night. Well, we could have a lot more. We could really expand this. We could have an iron board in there. We could cancel these back ones. We cancel maybe them ones there, like that. We'll also put like laundry machines in this place. You know, just again generic white goods. Now, there's the laundry machines, and we can also have. We've done sinks, freezers, cookers, serving tables. You wouldn't really sell that. We could also have showers. Still showers in this thing. There you go. That's that sort of. That's that one sort of. We could have drinks machines. Which, eh, no, no. We're not going to go that far. There's only so far we can get with that. We do have to have a laundry basket though, don't we? Obligatory laundry baskets. There we go. Right. That's the thing as well. I've, I've also got a plan for laundry baskets. But okay, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Right. Back to this. So, as I mentioned, you can get sort of bed and carpet warehouse type things and I want to have this as that, that, that I want to have that sort of thing here so we're going to cancel the back and then we'll have different tiles all the way around here and we're going to separate it by metal floors so if I just pause it hopefully this will fit in it's not going to fit in so if I do it like that we can have one two three four different carpets so you would have a look and say oh I like the look of that carpet so let's have a little put the tiles in and we'll put uh, white tiles Ceramic tiles and then a fancy tiles. I will put the fancy tiles in. I think I think that'll be better. And maybe ceramic and then wood. I think that'll be best. So that's like a carpet warehouse. I think bed and carpet warehouse. There we go. I mentioned about the laundry baskets. I'm actually going to have a bit in the centre here where well, there's going to be chairs, basically chairs and tables in the centre. That's what that'll be. But then we're going to have baskets. Around here, in fact, I'll place them once it's finished serving, and that's your shopping cart. And you come in, you get a shopping cart, and you can go inside, and you can go around the mall with your shopping cart, push it along, and buy different things. Now, shopping trolley is uh, we prefer to call it in, in blighty. So, those limeys. Right, baskets. 
that's just really weird when you spin it around. That's not right. <laughs> anyway, baskets up to probably there. You always have big raw baskets. You have to put a pound in. <laughs> Let's put that all up to there. And I think that will probably do. Then what we need is like a sort of... You need to have it stored there. And the problem with that is that it's probably not going to work properly. So I'm going to put sort of metal like that, I think. Now this front section here, I want actually I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna cancel a couple of them because we need to have it so the entrance is a bit bigger because obviously with the small it's currently it's got a tiny tiny entrance. So we need to sort that out, which we'll do by putting a jail door there and a jail door. Hmm, jail door there and a jail door. I don't, I don't think we need a jail door in the middle. What I'll do is I'll dismantle that door. We'll have a jail door there, jail door there. We might even... Actually, we'll cancel cancel all of them. We'll dismantle the door and I'll see what happens. There anyway, that's getting placed nicely. It looks like it's working. I don't know what I don't know what I'm going to put in there. I'm actually running out of uh, comments and ideas now. Like I said, there's several people saying we should do this, this, and this, and just suggesting things to do. But uh, I think we're running a little bit low. Several staff are exhausted. Ah, well. That's a staff problem. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a management problem. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Right. Why is that not being tiled? That looks a bit weird. Marble tiles. Oh, it's ordered, so they're going to go go ahead, go ahead and do that. Marble tile in the centre looks okay, but after a while they do look a bit weird. Or oh, when they're all together. Hmm. We'll see. Anyway, they're placing all of this, and there's nothing much we can really do until the finish it off. And obviously it's a bit slow because of the lag and all that. But yeah... Generally, we're, I'm very happy with this. This is, I, as I mentioned in the Alpha 19 video, this is like I think this is probably the best prison I've ever made in terms of just its layout, its and just its function as well. It, it functions perfectly. You know, even when you consider it's really messed up, it really is messed up, and it shouldn't work, but it sort of does. It it really does. Just checking to make sure there's no more. Tunnels. I actually forgot that one there. I'm actually going to go to materials and then remove walls. I'm going to remove the wall that goes along there. And remove demolish walls. There we go. We'll demolish the wall that goes along there. And we're just going to have this as like a little area where we can view and have a quick look. We do need to demolish them as well. Dismantle that one. And dismantle that one. That one didn't click, did it? No, it did not. Clicky. And clicky. Clicky! There we go. And clicky. Click it. Oh, it's already on dumps. So that's fine. They're going to dem demolish all of them. Right. We do need to plumb these in probably as well. They are shouting for water, so we probably want... Oh, bollocks. They're, not, they're actually using them as well. They're using them to cook. <laughs> Good grief. So a chef's come along. Oh, no, 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 no. It is actually a person. Right. Do you know what this is? Right. So you're probably thinking, you're probably thinking a couple of things, and I'll try and run through all of the... Uh, through all of the options. So, A, you're thinking the game is still in alpha, it is unfinished, and what's happening is the AI is coming along and using the cookers to actually do the bacon on and actually cook the food. That's what the prisoners are doing, right? B, you're probably thinking that it's just... It, 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 it's... <laughs> it, it's the entire... Entire... Sort of kitchen staff breakdown. You're probably thinking that the cooks have said, You, you go over there, apprentice, and you sort that out. You actually start cooking all the way over there. Or, and this is my option, you're probably thinking that that's just a customer who is, to be fair, broken into a mall that isn't finished yet, but has come in here and started testing out the merchandise. So he's thinking, Well, I'm thinking of buying. This, this this cooker here, but I'm not entirely sure that it is right for me. May I bring in a sample? You know like when you might come in with a, de like with a demo CD or whatever if you're going to buy a stereo? <laughs> you're basically doing, he's basically doing the same with the, <laughs> with the cookers there. And I hope they don't try and do the same thing with the toilet. <laughs> or the showers. Hmm. Speaking of toilet, I haven't put them in, so we're going to put some in toilets in there as well. <laughs> Right, anyway, it looks like the, all these are being placed. Looks like all of the tiles are underneath. That's looking okay. That's looking fairly good. I'm just wondering if their laundry baskets will stay there. I'm assuming they're going to move the laundry baskets. Yeah, they're moving the laundry baskets. Well, I tried, didn't I? I did try. The only way for me to fix that is to make it a separate building and then put it so that 
we couldn't that, that there was no access to it for prisoners but even then the janitors would move it anyway so meh whatever right so looks like all of this is in that worked better than i expected so you can see all the different things so that's like nice that's like lam nice laminate tiles you've got our nice fancy tiles there we've got our ceramic tiles and you've got some nice wood underlay all oh, very nice anyway what else do we need to add so that's our let's just have a quick rundown of what we've got so far we've got our Telly that isn't in the corner there. I don't know what we should put in the corner. We've got our television store. We have our te phone store. We have our apparently cooked food and everything. <laughs> we have a white goods stroke. Just uh, I don't know what you would call that store in America, but that, that's just sort of utility store. You would go in, so you'd say, "Oh, I want you know buy a sink or buy a kitchen." D sort of DIY store, I guess you could call it as well. We've got our bed and. Just general, uh, not furniture, because we're going to have a furniture store. But this is just our bed and carpet warehouse type area. We also need a recreation area where you would buy things like pool tables. I think we'll have pool table store. Why, why wouldn't you have a pool table store? General recreational store. There we go. There's the pool tables put in. I think we'll put them in like that. Then we also need a book store. You know, the obligatory book store, right? Of course, we're going to have one. Of course, we're going to have one. And we'll do it so it runs... Like so. Like that. Obviously, this is totally non-functional. Books don't do anything in the game. This is our our water. Well, in the UK, it would be water stones. I guess it would be. Well, what would be in America? I don't know. Don't know what bookstores you have in America. W. H. Smiths. I guess you could have this. Would be as well in UK. There you go. Oh, the works. I prefer the works because they're cheap and they're good. Right. We have a general, sort of a general office furniture place to do where we'll have our filing cabinets and the office desks in. We don't really have any other store that I can think of. Let's put the let's put the store for general office furniture in first. So we'll have our filing cabinets all the way down the bottom, uh, on the left hand side rather, and then we will have. Probably all of the tables and desks. So we'll have... Actually, no, we'll... Yeah, we'll have the tables and desks. So we'll have... So this is where you say, oh, I need a new office desk. There we go. There's the office desks all the way along. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. There we go. And then next to that, we would have your uh, sofas. But I think we'll put sofas here. Cancel that. Actually, we'll spin it around. Put them back to back. There we go. And then we'll have sofas. Little ones. Like that. We'll do a bit different and we'll put them like that. That's just a bit better. There we go. There's little chairs. And obviously we need to put other chairs, you know, the standard chairs in. If I can actually find them, they'll be around here somewhere. Got a final cabinet. Chairs. Chairs! Oh, my kingdom for a chair! Where is it? It's oh, is it, oh, There it is. Chair. Right. So we'll put the chairs in like so. Again, run them all the way down the bottom and then to there as well. Fair amount of chairs in there. We also need to put... We could put a weapons rack in. That would probably be bad. Put school desks in. Like so. Can you spin them around that way? You can. So I think I'll have them... Actually, I like them that way. There we go. There's some school desks in there. What else would you have in the general store like this? You would have... We don't want medical beds. You wouldn't have that really. No. A bit too specialised for this store. I guess tables and benches. I guess that's bums on seats thing, isn't it? The whole bums on seats thing. You can't go wrong with bums on seats. And then we'll have other oh, benches. No, they were they were tables. Then we'll have say a bench, like two benches, like so. I think that's about it. I mean, you wouldn't sell a morgue slab. We could put it in, but I think that's about right for that sort of store. And then we need a hardware store. So it's blatantly just going to be presses. I've just come up with that to be honest with you. Hardware store. Just going to be presses and drills and that sort of thing you would get in there. We need probably workshop saws. I will have carpenter's tables, I think, right near the front. Because that's where all the... You go, ooh, look at that. That's much good. That's really good. That's really good. All of the best stuff. I've actually run out of cash for the first time in a lot of episodes. Right, I think we'll leave it there, to be honest, because that's a lot for them to plan and build. So, obviously, you probably don't want to wait for them to just build all that. What I'll do is uh, I might skip forward to the next episode when we'll actually finish that off. But, yeah, ne next episode, we will finish this star off when we've got a bit more money. In fact, we've just got more money now. And then we'll do this centre bit. We'll put in the car park and all that sort of thing. And that'll probably be our last episode for this prison, actually, now that I think of it. 
Because I don't think there's anywhere else, nothing else I can do. I don't want to expand any further. I'm not going to expand any further. Because A, there's nothing else really I can put in without it being a complete waste of time. Like, this is bordering on nothing else to do. This is bordering on complete waste. Most of what I've put in here will never be used by the prisoners. It is a complete waste of space, time, and money. It's mainly for its, you know, its aesthetic purposes and looking and, you know, fits in with the whole town thing. And it's something that did appeal to me, and a lot of people commented about it. But, yes, this is something that will be used-ish, so they'll use the televisions and the phones, etc, but they won't use pretty much anything else. Obviously, they'll use the pool tables and that, and they might sit down in the chairs, but other than that, they won't really do much in here, but anything else will pretty much be a waste, and also expanding it will just slow it down. I mean, the game's running like a bag of Back at, just it's like a bag of hammers as it is. I don't want to add any more. I don't want any more strain to it. But yes, next episode we'll finish that off doing some polishes and that'll be it. Right, so as always, comments in the comments and I will go from there. Take care. Thank you very much for watching and generic partings. I said that out of sequence, but you don't really care, do you? No.